Well, how do there, chums? Design, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm going to be playing a little bit of No Man's Skies. Let's jump on over. Now, I figured I'd leave this first tip in. This is how to start an expedition. You go to play game, but rather than load in any of your saves, you have to go to new game, okay? And then you'd find the expedition tile over here. You can see here we've only got five days on this expedition. Now, that seems to be a shortened length of time for every single expedition over this redux. Now, when you load on in, you're going to be initialized in. And this isn't like a normal game save. Heck no, it's not. So this is the initialization screen. If you're wondering what to do here, go down the square button. Okay, so just hold that down. And then you start the expedition. You have to go through all of this animation. Righto. Well, this is Expedition Redux Utopia. Right, well, I'm just going to give you my best tips for this expedition, people. Why did I leave those first very fundamental tips inside of game and inside of my video? Mainly because inside of my comments, I've had people ask me, how do I start the expedition? Not just one, but I've had two people ask. Now, two people ask, that means there's got to be other people out there that are a little bit stuck. Anyway, you're going to have this on the screen right now, which tells you a little bit about this expedition. Usually a good thing to actually sit and read, because this one actually says right under where my logo is. During this expedition, you can only craft products or install technologies while at your base. That's very different to all the other expeditions, people. So it's worth... Taking a mental note of that one. Heck yes. It also says establish a base quickly to craft survival supplies and take shelter. You cannot repair your ship without starting blueprints. Deploy an exocraft to get around the planet. Another good tip. Complete milestones to restore each of the planet's Ekande regular systems to earn large rewards from the Utopia Overseer. So basically, you've got to do these milestones, yeah, on all of these phases to get stuff that you're going to need to aid yourself with inside of this expedition. It's given you all the tips that you need right at the freaking start here, people. So anyway, phase one, boom. Establish a base. Fine, we'll be doing that then. Coolio. Right, so firstly, I want to find a decent place to put my base. Now, it would be nice if we had a place, point of interest or something. A building of sorts to build my base near. Now, you can use camera mode to sort of get a better scout of the area to see if there is anything in nearby vicinity. So I might as well do that quickly. Have a little butchers about with my eye peepers to see if I can see anything visually that looks interesting. Now, there is a cave right in front of me, which is quite good for taking shelter. But I was hoping to see some sort of like little mini outcrop or outpost or something. But as you can see here, people, there is no... Oh, actually, yes, there is. There's something just over there, over yonder hill. Look, there's some sort of like little building. I'm somewhere down here. The building is over there. Hard to know which way that was. All right. There seems to be a grave just down there as well, people. That would get me a glyph. It's a nice bit of flat land. But technically, I think it's over this hill that I need to go. Let's just see if I'm right. Camera mode again. And straight up. Is it over said yonder hill? So the way I'm looking, is it over this hill here? That little outcrop, that little outpost. No, it's not. So the way I'm facing right now, which way do I need to go? Just slightly to the right. Okay. So this way then, people. Right, I'm going to head towards those buildings. And that's where I'm going to put down my base. Oh, look, there's a beetle creature. Can I feed it? I need some pellets. Can I create some pellets? Let's see if we can create some pellets. I need some carbon. Why do I want that beetle creature? I'll tell you why I want that beetle creature, people. It can fly. Heck yes, it can. And that means I won't have to walk so much. Because I'm a lazy sod. Right, okay, let's uh, get a bit more. A little bit more. There we go. We've got enough for a pellet now. Let's make a creature pellet. How? Where's he gone? I can hear him. There he is. You're going to be mine, beetle. Yes, you are. Offer it some food. I've got creature pellets for fudge sake. Cannot craft outside of bloody base. Of course I can't. I haven't got a base yet. All right. Bollocks to that then. 
All right, so there you go. That's the first sort of thing to take note in this mission, people. You can only craft stuff at your base, and if you haven't got a base, and you're a little bit frickin' flummoxed. Okay, there you go. First tip, make a base. Okay, people, well, I've arrived at this sort of, like, little mini shelter. I mean, it's got a little waypoint that I can hit up, which will save the game. It's got a few places where I can take shelter. So, you know what, this will do. This will do for a base, people. I guess I'm just going to put my base computer right there. And go claim said base. Claim base. And I'm just going to build a little bit. You know, I'm probably going to need even more carbon. Ah, lovely. And I'll go find one of those beetle-y things as well and pet it, I think, people. But anyways, I'll make a base. Okay, another important thing, people, is if you go into options and go into a network, you can disable your PvP. You don't want anybody to shoot you in the freaking face. You can also turn off multiplayer. That saves people going and picking up stuff that you want, you know? There you go. I'm going to play solo. If you've got friends and if you're more sociable, obviously you don't need to do that. Right, anyways, it looks like that beetle is quite near me right now. I'm going to go and tame it. There it is. Now I'm going to have a little flying friend. Oi, you! Come back! I want you as a friend. A doctor's companion. There we go. He's now my friend! And it looks like that was actually a milestone anyway, people. That's going to save me on having to walk. And of course, what you want to then do is go into your expedition and claim said thing. You can see that it says new reward over there, phase two. Let's claim that. Boom. Yes! Heck yes! Oh, I get three free infantry slots. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'd stick them there. It looks like we got gifted this. Lovely. We'll put that in there. Does it get a adjacency bonus? No, no, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Right, there we are. I've nearly finished building my base. I need more carbon. But I've decided I'm going to be um, keeping the save point inside of my base. Yes. Hello, my little friend. Yes, he's quite disobedient, apparently. Anyway, I need more carbon to build my base. So, yeah, I'm just going to resource gather, build out my base. Okay, chums, if you haven't got enough base parts, but you want to build a base bit, if you press triangle, it brings up the wire mode. Then while you're in Ryan mode, if you press the triangle and place button at the same time on the part you haven't got the parts for, it actually puts it down. So I want four of them. So I'm just going to keep doing it until I've got four of them. There you go. Now I can build a roof out of all these bits. Now, let's come up with the um, rewards so at the moment. I can't do much because it's... Ah, it's gone all funny. All right, cool. Well, yeah, I'm going to delete those. Stop it! I just want to delete things! There we go. And then I can just use those bits that I crafted into the world just by glitching them, as it's called. And now I can put my roof on. Okay. Uh, aya. Rotate. I've actually forgotten all the controls. <laughs> put that there. And put that there. There you go. That's my base. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to upload my base now that it's completed. I guess. Upload. Although I've already um, you know, got the badge for that. Anyhow, where is it? It's in area one. Phase one. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. There we go. We've got our analysis advisor. Make sure you install all the bits that you get as quickly as you can. And make sure you claim your badges, you know, your milestones, as often as you can. There you go, claim that one. Goes about saying, really. Paraffinium plus 100 pre packaged advanced main it. Oh, I got some more units. And I've got myself a Geo Bay. Okay. Well, now I've got that Geo Bay. Let's go put that down, shall we? Look, you see, I haven't got all the parts for it. I'm just going to do that thing again. So you press in for the wire mode. And then just press the wire mode button again and place at the same time. Freaking done, mate. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's in. Oh, what's this? What's that all about? What's it asking me to craft? Nanotubes? Why? Why do I need nanotubes? I don't know why I need nanotubes. Okay, well, we've got that in anyway. Okay, let's go stick that in then, which is this one here. Oh, that's why I needed nanotubes. Done! Analysis visor installed, decated. Freaking lovely. All right. Um, yeah. New mission. Personal. Okay, must have put... Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool, yeah. Hmm. Got another badge. Sweet! Hermetic seal, landicated. 
It's pretty easy, this expedition, isn't it, people? Yeah. What else did I just get then? Exosuit. Oh, look at all this lovely stuff I can now install. Well, I can put that there. If I take this one and put it next to that one, adjacency bonus! Yes, lovely jubbly. What have we got here? Personal refiner? Heck yes, that's going to come interestingly handy. What's this one then? Ah, is that for this this via cab? Hopefully it is. Put that there then. Okay, what is that exactly? Hypersonic thrust control? Does it get adjacency bonus with that? Don't think it does, no. Maybe this one that looks just like it. Yeah, that'd be the one that gives me the adjacency bonus, not that one. Righto, lovely, go. Cool. That's, that's that in then. What else have I got? What else did I get gifted? One advanced mining laser! A James is bonus. Cool. Okay, we're off to a good start. Yeah, not so bad. All right, well, I'll reconvene with you when I know what I'm going to do next. Okay, people. So, I'm going to be getting a load of crafted survival essentials. I'm not too sure what I've got to do to actually get those. But if I travel by Exocraft to my ship, I'm going to pop a badge. The only thing is, when I get to my ship, I know that it's going to be broken to fudge. Now, to fix starships, normally you need quite a few bare essentials, one of them being Hermetic Seal. So if I go into my actual menu here, to make a Hermetic Seal, you only need carbon, which I've got some. So that's good. I've got my Hermetic Seal build. I also need some dehydrogen jelly. I'm fairly sure that's one of the things I need. And some metal plating. You get the metal plating by getting ferrite dust, which you get from mining rocks. So I'm going to go look for some rocks and shoot them. And dehydrogen you make from the little blue crystals on this planet. So I'm going to go get some of those and shoot those. But before I do either of that, just over on yonder hill, right by where I am, look, there's a massive great big patch of lovely, lovely oxygen sitting right here, people. I can't pass that up. I'm going to go pick all that. Then I'm going to look for the dehydrogen. I'll show you what dehydrogen looks like. But oxygen, I'm going to need this. I'm going to make some warp fuel as well. Because we're going to craft everything at our base, I don't want to go too far from my base if I can help it. Okay, so I'm just going to pick the rest of this. Okay, now I don't really need cobalt, but I'm just going to grab it. Because it's right here. There's a little cave right by my base as well. So I'm just going to drag, grab a load of cobalt while I'm here. Because why the fudge not? There's also a couple of humming sacks that are just sitting out in the open. Now, Albion Pearls fetch quite a lot of money. I don't really need them, but they're right here. So I'm going to get them anyway. I mean, hopefully you've been as lucky as me. Hopefully you've got something like this going on. But now I can do that like little mini scan and I'm looking for the blue dehydrogen crystals. There's some up there. You see the blue H? That's hydrogen crystals. So I'm just going to head on over there and hit those up now, people. Okay, let's go grab those little blue crystals. That goes. Now, from popping one of the badges, I've been gifted some copper. The copper will change into dehydrogen, not dehydrogen, yeah, the chromatic metal that I'm going to need. Anyway, let's grab all these. Oh, look, there's some more oxygen right there. Why not have that while I'm here? Lovely. So this is hopefully make my dehydrogen jelly that I think I'm going to need to fix my ship. I'm trying to go by memory. It's been a long time since I've fixed up a crashed ship or, or a, a knackered ship. I don't really do replay throughs or anything. I've got three saves. I've got a relaxed save. I've got permadeath. I've got creative. I've got normal. Actually, I've got four. All right, here we go. Let's uh, pop that crystal then. Boom. Oh, look, I've got a storm crystal in there. Luck be had it. Anyway... Let's fuel this with a little bit of carbon. Pow. And you know what? That copper, I'm going to stick that in there. That's going to turn into dehydrogen. I mean, not dehydrogen. That's going to turn into chromatic metal. While that's turning into chromatic metal, all that lovely blue crystally stuff, I just got this. Hopefully, I've got enough to get dehydrogen jelly. I guess. Now all I need is a load of rocks to shoot. Because we need a load of ferrite dust. Ah, my weapon's just decharged. There we go. Zap that. Lovely. Now you see that it's got question marks there. If I scan it, it's going to give me a ferrite dust and dehydrogen now that I zap that rock. That's cool. Hazard explorers, be careful of them. Zap them. You're going to get yourself some oxygen. I believe there's also a badge on the milestones to take out a load of hazardous flora. So we might as well do that while we're here anyway. So as I'm running around the planet, zapping rocks, zapping carbon, getting resources... I'm also looking for the hazardous flora and zapping them. I might as well scan all the plants as I go, so I'm going to get the secondary element. Look, I'm going to get carbon and condensed carbon from that. That rock's too big for me to zap. Okay, I haven't, I haven't scanned that one, so I'm going to scan it so I get the secondary element. 
Nice. I think you get the basic idea. Anyway, I'm just going to go zapping a load of stuff. And I'm going to go kill a load of hazardous flora as I'm doing this as well, people. You just saw me zap two types of hazardous flora. If I see the pumpy plant, I'll show you that one as well. There's a Venus flytrap and there's a whipping plant. So here you go, people. In phase two, you can see here, I've only got to kill five of them. So I might as well look around. Now that I've actually selected it, it's showing me where the hazardous flora is with my analysis visor. So that's a big help. Well, there's one just over this yonder hill over here. Let's go zap that one then. Where is he? There's some little git over here. There he is. He's just behind this tree. I would never have known. Right? There's some more rocks that I've got to zap because I still haven't got all my ferrite dust. So let's just get rid of this tree. Where's the hazard? There you go. Look, it's one of the whipping plants. Was that that? Any more for any more? It says that there's one just over here. Okay, cool. Is it behind the tree again? No. Nope. It's down here. Around here, by this bush, somewhere. It's here, apparently. There it is. Oh, look! It tried to whip me, people! Yeah, die, you! There you go. We've got that one. Herbicide. What are we going to get for herbicide? Let's collect that. Nice! Hazmat. Run away, you've got. Okay. There's nothing there that I can turn into ferrite dust, so I might as well zap this rock. Ha! Hazmat gloves, though, they come very in handy for picking plants and stuff. Anyway, let's get the ferrite dust. Oh, we've got a shield module, though, there, people. That's very nice. Yeah, I'll install that right now. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Boom. There we go. Oh, it looks like um, my chromatic metal is done. I might go and find myself some more resources to get out of the ground, though. Let's get that installed, too. Why the heck not? Lovely. Why is that flashing at me? Bolt caster. We'll get that installed, then. Oh, we need some more cup and nanotubes. Three lots of cup and nanotubes at that. Okay, back to the motor tool. Get that installed. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Done, diddly and done. We're freaking cooking on gas now, people. I guess we are. Right, well, I need some more ferrite dust, so I'm just going to be zapping these rocks by the looks of things. Let's, um, let's get that done then. Oh, apparently I've got a geode. Okay, well, that gave me a load of magnetised ferrite. As you can see there, I've only got 89 ferrite dust right now. I've been shooting rocks for ages. Okay, obviously not ages enough. All right, well, I'll carry on shooting my rocks, people, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, Jumps, using my analysis visor, I can see that there's a copper deposit only 500 years away. So I'm going to make my way there, and on my way there, I'm going to shoot a load of rocks to get my ferrite dust. But hopefully once I get here, oh, look, there's more blue crystals here. We'd have that, and we might as well get the ferrite dust while we're here. But anyway, I'm going to head towards that copper deposit just so I can get some more chromatic metal because I might make myself some um, warp fuel as well before we get off this planet because I've seen one of the future badges is to jump to another system. Ah, so there we go. Yep, we're heading off towards the copper deposit. Right, chums, as you can see, the copper deposit is all the way over there. And um, my little my little friend is, is quite near to me. My little guy that I went and recruited earlier. I can't see him, so I'm going to call him to me. Come here. Where are you? I can... Where the fudge are you? Ah, uh, okay. All right, well, I can't find him, so I'm going to despawn him. Then all I'm going to do is get to a bit of flatter land where I can see my blinking little companion. Call him back out. Quickly get on him. Ride. Fly, my beauty, fly! And now I can fly to my copper deposit. If I can get him to turn! Fly me to the copper deposit! Fly like the wind, my little pretty beetle! And the no nice thing about this is I can use my beetle to get back to my ship later. It saves my weary legs! I guess it does. And plus, climbing mountains is, is always tedious. Well, not tedious, it's just harsh on your lungs. Fly, little beetle, fly! Yeah, maybe I needed a slightly bigger beetle. Come on! You know you want to. I've got a jetpack. I know, people. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to make a point, though, that it's worth getting a beetle. <laughs> I don't know whether it really is or not. Go on, little beetle. You've got it in you. I know you can make it. Anyway, it just looks good riding, you know, turning up on a freaking beetle. Yes, I could use my jetpack. You're quite right. But no, I want to abuse this little beast. Anyways, look, there's my copper deposit there by a load of freaking dehydrogen. Right, let's jump off the beetle then. I've had enough of that then. Point proven. It's definitely worth having a beetle. <laughs> right, there we go. And get all this lovely blue crystals as well. Because why the fudge not? Yes. Lovely, lovely blue crystals. Anyway. Now look, there's the other type of hazardous flora. One of these pumpy plants. They're usually the easiest ones to spot. Dead. Right, okay. 
I've got a tip for this as well, but I need to clear my throat. The luck be had it, you've already got a terrain manipulator installed. If you fire it off to one side, you can see it's going to make a big hole. But if you press L1, you can shrink your beam. It's going to take you longer to get this stuff out of the ground, but you're going to get more of it. So yeah, just take your time with a smaller beam, and you'll be thankful that you did. Because you're going to get a lot more copper doing it this way. If I left it big, I would have done it in like quarter of the time. But I've only had quarter the amount of copper. So yeah, a little bit of a tip there for you people. Lovely job. Hey, I'll see you once I've mined this all out of the ground. And I'm probably going to turn this all into uh, chromatic metal. Because I haven't got much use for copper. <laughs> no. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, as you can see here, I'm flying on my beetle back to my base, and it has helped me, because this is quite a mountainous area. So it would have been really tedious otherwise if I didn't have my beetle. Yes, there's my base over there. I'll be back at base soon, see you in a bit. Okay, chums, now, this little green case that I found inside my base has got rusted metal. Rusted metal's quite good to have anyway, but here we go. What did I get from there? I got a microprocessor, that's always good. But the reason I like rusted metal is you can stick it into here, into your personal refiner. Where is it? Rusted metal. Chicka bam! And that's going to turn into ferrite dust. It's going to take a little while, but still, it's freaking free, mate. Something else that I've been gifted is a load of runaway mold. That turns into nanites, and we're going to need nanites. Anyway, I've got this that I can decompress, that that I can decompress. I've got a fair bit of ferrite dust now. Can I make a load of metal plating? How much metal plating can I make? Uh, I can make seven. Could have done with maybe ten, really. Okay. Well, I might show you another method to duplicate items. Like, massively duplicate items. Let's see. Can I make... How many of these can I make? I can make a couple. So I'm going to make a couple. So there you go, I'm going to stick this down, lovely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this now. And all of my cro uh, copper that I got out, let's put that in there. So just to show you, I'm going to put all my copper in there, okay? I'm not going to start it though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one. And I'm just going to place it, bang on, on top of this one. Now this might have been patched out, this is the first time I've tried it in this expedition. We did get a load of fa fixes, so this might not work. I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to stick it on top of this one, exactly where the last one was. Like that. So they're right on top of each other. Yeah, I'm doing it again. So go into the video camera. Lovely jubbly. Stick it right on top. Done. And I'm doing it again then. I can build a few of these, so why the fudge not? Because I've got a load of oxygen plants, didn't I? I got quite lucky, but also killing all those hazardous flora. Right, I won't be too greedy. Let's just see if this works. Then I'm just going to pick them up by pressing R3, okay? And look at the top corner. Am I going to get a load of... No, it looks like they've fixed it. That doesn't work anymore. So normally I would have got loads of 560, 560s, 560s. They've actually fixed it. I'm actually glad about that. You can no longer do the duplication method, people. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice one, hello games. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restore to my previous save point and hopefully get all that ferrite dust back from making all those refiners. Yeah, it's good that they fixed it, but hopefully I can get my ferrite dust back or else I'm out shooting rocks just for that little demo. Cool, so I'm back at base and have I got all my ferrite dust back? I do. Lovely jubbly. Just need to uncompress that, uncompress that. Nice. Got my 560, yeah, okay, coolio. What's it asking me to bloody make? Okay, the dehydrogen jelly, we need that. Okay, maybe we didn't. What's it asking me to blink in craft? There's nothing flashing at me. It's not obvious what it, what it's asking me to do. Oh, make some ammo. All right, there you go. No, I didn't. Oh, no. Okay, great. Let's make some uh, metal plating then. I won't be able to make so many metal platings now. Oh, I still can make seven. That's okay. That's not so bad. All right, cool. Well, I think I'm ready to go fix my ship. I might as well put that on top of that one. Save a bit of storage space. I've got my hermetic seal. I've got my metal plating. I think we're about good. I did also want to make myself some warp thruster fuel, but I haven't got enough ferrite dust now. I need to shoot just one more rock, but I can do that on my way there. In fact, I've got a tip for getting loads of ferrite dust as soon as we get to the ship. So I think I'm ready to go to the ship now, people. I could do with some launch thruster fuel to take off in my ship, but I haven't got the recipe for it yet. So I can only assume we're going to get that when we get to the ship. 
We've now crafted the survival essentials. Okay, here we go then. So I can now claim that, can I? Expedition, phase one. Was that crafted? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Ah, it's running on its own, people. I'm not touching anything. There you go. Oh, look. Oh, cool. All right, well, I haven't got all the parts for that, but as you know, we've got a little mini tip for that one. So let's just get that. And let's just uh, slot it right there, shall we? There we go. I glitched it in, people. Nice. Okay. I can't power it, though. We've got no bits to power it with, so a bit odd. All right, fine. Well, it's there anyway. We've got it in. All right. Well, I guess we're going to travel to my ship. Now, there is a badge for going to the ship. Well, not going to the ship, but traveling in our exocraft. So I'm going to use my exocraft to go there. Let's go, exocraft. We've got a mission to do. We're going to our ship, this ship. Right, so, travelling by Exocraft. Let's see how far we go. So, travel by Exocraft. There we are. Meow. And we're going to travel 1,000 U's. I mean, when we get to the ship, I can just ride around in circles. But look, it's on top of a blinking mountain. So I don't think we're going to have any problems, people. Anyway, I'll reconvene. Woo! At what comes first? I think I'm going to travel that distance first. In fact, it's probably not even worth um, cutting. Because I'm going to be there. I'm going to pop that badge any second now. Anyway, I will anyhow. Save your time. Well, there we go. Pop that badge already, people. I'm not even at my ship yet. Not even close. All right. Well, let's go and let's just go claim that then, shall we? Scenic route. There we go. Pre-packaged Icarus fuel system. Exocraft upgrades. Loads of technology blueprints for the Exocraft. All right. I wonder if it's stuck all that inside of my Exocraft right now. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Alright, well, let's uh, head on over this yonder hill then. And just up this hill over here. And hopefully we'll be at my shifty ship. Can I boost or something? I don't think we've got a boost yet. Hopefully we've got one of those modules to do exactly that inside of that. All that. Okay. It's further than I thought, people. Let's have a quick look then. Let's see if we can stick this in there. Okay. I can't get the adjacency bonus for the two of them. I'll just stick that one there then. What's this one then? Oh, okay. Icarus fuel system. Can I put that there? Yes, I can! Double boosted. Alright, cool. Still haven't got a boost button, though. Oh, yes, we have. It's that one. Okay. That's L1, by the way, people. Right. Well, I head towards my ship, then. Well, here we go, people. I've arrived, Decated. i got a lovely broken neck hauler. I'm not a fan of the broken neck hauler types, has to be said. Alright, okay. Well, that's what I got. That's what I got given. Alright, there we go. Welcome to Utopia Settler. Lovely, lovely. Cool. Okay, what do you need? Disrupted space station trait, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Acknowledged. Let's get this thing fixed then, shall we, people? Ah, I'm going to need pure ferrite. All right, well, that's fine. I can sort that out. Not a problem. So pure ferrite first. And if I go to this little doohickey over here, and I get my ferrite dust and chuck that in there, that should turn it into pure ferrite. It's only going to take five seconds. Lovely, lovely. Pick that out of there. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Go back over to my starship. Can I repair thee? No, I'm six short. Okay, what about that one? I can repair that. That's not a problem. Right, so I just need to shoot some rocks. Let's just hope there's some rocks nearby. When you don't need rocks, there's loads of rocks. Oh, ah, ah, no, don't. Oh, I'll use my terrain manipulator. That was a race of a rock. I only need six. It gave me ten. That's good. The world likes me. Okay, here we go, into here then. Boom. And I want my ferrite dust. Where are you? I've only got ten of you. There you are. Yeah, that's all I need. Sweet. Now we should be able to fix my starship. Done! Dusted! Heck yes! We're done. Okay, we can pop that badge. Stop running! Okay. And we've got Starship Launch Fuel. Lovely. And look, I've got extra metal plating and dehydrogen jelly. So I can now go over to my exosuit and I can make myself a load of launch thruster fuel. Um, we're going to be taking off and doing stuff quite often. So where did that blood... Oh, you can only craft it back at your base, can't you? Okay, all right, fine. We'll get this installed anyway. So that's another mining laser attachment there, people. Lovely, lovely. You know what? Let's move all this over here so I can get a little bit extra on my mining laser. 
Oi! On there. Okay. Done. What's that boosted exactly? Yeah, not bad. Alright, I'll do. Okay. Well, we should be able to take off in this ship now, anyway. And here comes another awesome tip, people. Alright, so once you've taken off of your ship, shoot the heck out of the planet. Okay. Take that, trees! And look, I'm getting loads of freebies. I say freebies, they're not. It's, you, you know, you're shooting stuff to get this. And it's going to take you a long time to fill up your actual cargo hold on your ship. But trust me, this is a really good way to get a load of basic resources for freaking free. Well, it would be if I was actually shooting stuff. Because at the moment, not seeing much pop up either. Take that! Freaking! What are these trees made out of? Shoot the bushes instead. There you go. It works better when your ship gets better, obviously. But, um, yeah. Oh, my weapon's overheated. Alright, well, we'll use that missile. There you go. It helps if you actually hit stuff. But I'm heading towards that rendezvous point anyway. On the way to the rendezvous point, I'm just going to shoot loads of stuff. Ah, there was a load of blue crystals there that I could have shot. There you go. No, fine. How long have we got to get there? Four hours. Now oh, that's miles of time to freaking shoot the heck out of the planet. Now, if you just tap the button, you don't overheat. But it's going to take you a lot longer to get stuff. So, yeah. Sort of just swap between the two. But if I look at my inventory now, look, look at all this stuff I'm getting, you know. Might as well. Lovely. Oops, I shot myself. My shields went really low. Yeah, be careful you don't do that, people. Don't fire the missiles right at the floor under your ship. Blow off your own ship legs. All right. Fire it at a distance, like that. You know? Anyway, I think I'm just going to fly over to the rendezvous point now. But I think you get the point. You could spend a long time doing that and get a load of basic resources for free. Okay, now something, people. It says approximate location. Now, hopefully, if you fly around in circles near to the approximate location, you're going to see something that stands out from the rest of the actual environment so you can actually understand where you've got to go. Otherwise, you're going to have to land and walk there, which is tedium. Um, you can go into camera mode. And you can scout the area that way by looking around. Let's see if we can see anything. I think what I'm probably going to be looking for is like a colossal archive. It's a big freaking building. Um, um, okay. Aha, look, you can see that there's a little aerial sticking up over there. Just behind that hill, over this way. Let's go this way. Let's see if that's it. Oh, no, it's not. It's just, it is just a giant freaking aerial. All right, fine. Oh, look, there it is. There we go. That's going to be where we need to go to. Oh, it's red and white, my colours. Heck yes, red, white and black. Heck yes. Okay, let's go land there. You see all those launch launch thrusters underneath it, like it's landed there. It does look like it's parts of these new space stations, doesn't it? Oh, it's a Gek planet. All right, cool. I can tell it's a Gek planet because it's got Gek heads on that um, hologram there. If I remember rightly, though, there's nobody here. It's all abandoned. Because, yeah, it'd be nice if you could, you know, pick up a few modules here and stuff. But because it's, like, abandoned, you can't really get too much here. Oh, talking of which, that runaway mould. I might as well get the runaway mould turning into um, nanites, mightn't I? There you go, look. Nanite clusters. Why the heck not? All right, cool. Well, I have got those Albion pearls I can sell, so I might as well sell those in here. Sell Yes, I sell those Albion Pearls. Thank you very much. I don't know whether I need the Paraffinium. I could sell that. I'm going to keep hold of the Storm Crystal because you can make some pretty cool stuff out of that. Suspicious Packet Technology. When did I get that? Must have been a reward for something. Uh, my ship's too far away to put that in. All right, fine. Anyway, let's go up here then. Interact with this. This would be Rendezvous 1, I guess. Welcome to Utopia Alpha Settler. Please identify yourself using this terminal to complete the planetary registration. Login. Verifying settler's credentials. Yes, it is I. 
Done! And I think that's all of phase one done, mate. I think we're done on phase one. Let's just check. Boom. Yes. Infantry slots. Brilliant. Planetary charts. And some nanites. You're spoiling me, game. Yes, okay. That's, that's that done then. Okay. And uh, we can claim this now as well. We get a load of posters and night squad. But yeah, lots of posters. Nice. Coolio. Happy with that. Happy as Larry. I don't know who Larry was, but he sounds like a very happy person. Okay, right. So phase two. What are we doing in phase two? All right. Okay, fine. Collect your instructions from Utopia. Okay. All right, fine. Well, we've got to do that then. Build a base on the second planet. Oh, the fun times. Exosuit upgrades. Submit a volcano. What the fudge? Okay, right. I guess we're going there then. Let's head there then. All right. I'll see you over at the next rendezvous point. I mean, I, I could buy some launch thruster fuel, couldn't I, I suppose. No, I could just go back to my base and do that later. Yeah, I haven't got a lot of money anyway. Yeah, cool. We'll just press on on then, peeps. We'll press on on. Got you. Uh, I'll see you at that next rendezvous point. Okay, chums. Although we have got to submit a volcano, and I was like, oh my god, i got to submit a volcano. It appears that our next planet is a lava world. Chance be had it. Okay. Brilliant. Approximate location. So again, I'm looking for something that stands out from the rest of the landscape. As I was flying in, I did see a comms ball. Ah, oh, look, there we go. There's another sort of a colossal archive right there. Funny enough, right by a comms ball, which I saw as I was flying in. So if you don't see it straight away, head for a comms ball. Usually people put messages here. Some of them are quite funny. Some of them are quite entertaining. Other ones can be a bit political and it breaks your immersion. Yes, I wish people would refrain from political nonsense inside of video games. There we go. We've arrived, Kate, nonetheless. Good day from Australia. First female in space. Come on down to my cantina. Nice. Okay, let's head on over this way anyway. Let's go on up to this next rendezvous point, people inside of the view of us. Nice and simple. Okay, it looks like my life support's getting low, so I'm just going to top that up. There you go. Could do with some more of them, actually. I don't want to waste my precious oxygens. All right, log in. We'll see if we can buy some from the Galactic Trade Terminal, shall we? Actually, let's see if we get gifted some first from this thing. Yeah? Probably won't. No, we didn't. All right. Let's see if we can buy some oxygens from here. Actually, let's just see if I can craft some. See if we can craft some of that stuff, shall we, people? Live support gel. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I can't anyway, because I'm not at my bloody base. Oh. We've got nine already, anyhow. We've got nine, so I, don't, I didn't need it. Okay, we've got a load of blueprints. Sweet! Okay, cool. All right, well, that's, that's that then. Okay, it says there to locate ruins. Have I got to do that? Is that part of the actual... Mission brief, is it? Okay. Okay. Open up a supply drop. What this? Okay. Couldn't remember doing that before. All right. Well, there we go, people. That was a bit of an unusual step. That that's just in sort of like this expedition, I guess. I guess we're going there then. And it looks quite near to a load of volcanoes, anyhow. I don't know how you submit a volcano. I'll get to that when we get to it, I guess. Hiya! Tally ho, and away we go! What is my ship called exactly? Mbok. Nice. Okay, right, come on, Mbok. We have got butt to fly, Mbok! Holy fudge, and it looks like it's right on top of the bloody volcano. Is it, though? Why is the arriving it going up, not down? Oh, there we go. It's going down now. How weird was that? I got me a little bit duped. Oh, let's go back up again. What's the flying fudge? All right, well, I'll see you when I get there, whenever I get there, because this is weird. That jumps us flying for freaking ages. I was messed up, like properly messed up. All right, OK, cool. It looks like uh, there's this hollow terminus that I need to go to anyway. So let's go and land there. OK, restoration zone. Hopefully I've made it. Alright, am I there? I think I'm there, people. 
Alright, I don't know what the heck's going on now. It's giving me something else. Yeah, I think I've reached my desired location. What do I do now? Alright, well, let's. Um, oh, there you go. Looks like the badge has just popped now. It just took a bit of bloody time, didn't it? Okay. Alright, I've got some new base parts. Lovely. Okay, so we're doing this one now. Okay, put down another base. Don't mind if I do. We'll just put it right here. Why haven't I not got any chromatic metal? Oh, because I, I didn't put it into my um, little personal refiner, did I? I've got a load of copper. Thank fudge for that. Right, well, let's take that out of there then. Just for now. We're going to have these nanite clusters. We'll refuel this. Yeah. And I'll put in all of my copper. Where are you, lovely copper? There you go. Boom. And we'll turn that into chromatic metal. I'll be back with you once that's finished. Something to note, people. And the base computer cost has gone up. It's now 200 chromatic metal to put down one. And I need to get into cover or else I'm going to melt. Alright, fine. Let's get into here then. You see there, the storm's coming in. You use a lot more hazard protection. You seek yourself some freaking cover like I just did. There you go. You can see the bar going back up again. Isn't that lovely? Well, there you go. Navigation data. I didn't know I could get it from there. That's nice. Yeah, chums, I've just started the um, runaway mould going again in my backpack. But I have got enough now to put down this. It's lucky I went and got that copper. Oh, fudge. I need pure ferrite. I haven't got hardly any ferrite dust on me, have I? What about in my starship? I shot a load of rocks. I've only got 62 in there. Dang it! Should have shot more rocks. Okay, right. I'm back to shooting rocks then, people. We're going to wait for this storm to clear. I'll be right back with you after I've shot a load of rocks and I've got some ferrite dust. Yeah, little tip. The bigger the rock, the more ferrite you're going to get. And in this case, I'm getting pure ferrite just from this one big freaking boulder. So that's a bonus. Heck yes. Take that giant boulder of loveliness. Ferrite dust. Oh, look, I got myself a geode as well there, people. Okay, I'm running out of um, space rather quickly. I might as well just eat that. I'm just worried I might need it or something. Well, I know that I'm not going to need the fireworks. So let's just let off all these fireworks just to get... Um, normally, I save them for the, when I've completed the actual expedition. But you know what? I need the inventory space more than the mini celebration. There we go. Look at that, isn't it lovely? I guess it is. Nice. Oh, there's some pterodactylians up there. I'm going to scan one. Nice. Don't mind if I scan you guys, do you? No. Not at all. I'll scan you as well. There's no badge for scanning stuff in this, I don't think. I haven't looked that far ahead, but there we are. Still got to get all these rocks done. Lovely, lovely rock harvesting. I bet you guys have been harvesting a lot of rocks as well. I know the joy. Yeah, cool. There we are. Right, you see my bar at the top there, just above my head, is like bright red. If I can keep it red, I don't have to zap things as long. They just dematerialise. Look at that. If you can keep the heat up, it's a little mining tip. Keep it red. Don't let it burn out, though. Look, look how quick I'm annihilating stuff right now. So that helps for um, mining and gathering resources immensely. If you can become a master of the multi-tool like this, and just keep it somewhere in the red zone... Driving in the danger zone. Yeah, that's the voice of an angel. Zap all these. Lovely jubbly. See that? Freaking doing good. Doing great. Like yes. Take that. Okay, right. So we zapped all of that. Oh, look. That's pure ferrite right there. Oh, look. I've gained the freaking attentions of the sentinels right now. You little git bags. Leave me alone. I'm just mining rocks. No one's going to miss a couple of rocks, are they? The Void Mother will, Captain. Right, he's got his back turned. I'm going to have it. I'm going to freaking have it. Let's get it quickly. Ah, he's, he's angry again. Oh, bugger that then. That one's pure ferrite. I want it. Dang it. I'm having it. I'm having it. I'm having it. I took it. It wasn't me. Run away. Quickly, run away. I'm just going to send his mates to get me. All right. 
Hopefully I can put down a base computer now, people. We've risked life and limb to get my resources. And it still isn't enough. The fudge and ori, these things are expensive. Okay, let's go into the old exosuit then. And uh, I need to take all of those out of there. Look, we still haven't managed to do all this runaway mould yet. We've got a massive chunk of runaway mould. Stick that in there then. And um, I'll just put, be putting in my normal ferrite dust, wherever it is. That's going to turn into pure ferrite, actually. We'll use that. There we are. We'll turn that into pure ferrite. We'll get that on the bake. My magnetised ferrite. Don't know where I got that from, but it's coming in handy, I guess. And I, what do we need? 500 in total. We're still not close enough, are we? All right, well, I'll put in my normal ferrite, and then hopefully that'll do the frickin' job. Normal ferrite. I've got pure ferrite there. Where's my normal ferrite dust? There it is. 770 of it. There we go. Should give me a thousand when it's done. I'll reconvene in a bit. Right, well, I'm just going to take this out, because that's enough anyway. I'll leave it going, though. Let's head on out, and let's put down our base computer then. Chickapow! Claim this base. Hopefully the next one's not going to be even more expensive. Alright, there we go. Fun times! I'll build a base and I'll be right back with you. Load the runaway mould back in there, people. There you go. There you are. Get on the bake, you. Okay, so yeah. I can now build a base. Lovely. I can use this part. Okay. I don't really want to use my parts to build it though. There we go. I think I still use my parts to build it, even though I tried to glitch it in. Alright, fine. I need to stick a door on the dang thing. Alright, well that's on there then. Alright, cool. Expand your base, 5 and 15. Okay, right. Um, you know what? I'm just going to glitch a load of these in. Did I just glitch myself inside of it? I freaking did, didn't I? That's that's a rarity. Okay, right. Well, I've had to delete a few to get back out. Alright. Um, let's just put down a load of other bits then. Let's put them on top of each other. Makes them easier to delete, doesn't it? Are we done? Is that enough? Can I now upload my base? Sweet. Upload. Yes, it's a beautiful base, I know, right? There you go, done. Okay, cool, yeah. Done, done, and done. We build our second base. I'm going to delete it. Yes, uh, delete base. Yes, I'm sure. Actually, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna delete all these parts manually, just in case, because I need the resources back. That do it. Now I'm going to delete the space because I don't really need one, I don't think, do I? I don't really need it there. Yes! It's not like it's going to take my badge away from me, is it? I only need one base, the first one that we built. And again, it would have been nice to have crafted a few things here, like some launch thruster fuel, but I think it's gifted me enough anyway, so I think I'm okay. Alright, okay. Let's go into here then. Collect that. Sweet! Utopia expansion station plans, glass, habitation modules, all sorts of other lovely stuff. Cool. I'm going to need that. I'm going to. I'm probably going to have to rebuild the base, is what I'm thinking. But we'll have a look at what the next base badge is. Okay. Learn an upgrade from the Utopia Exosuit Station. Yes, I am going to have to rebuild the base. All right. Okay. We'll put back down the base then, people. And now I'll build it properly now, though. Oh, it didn't give me back my bloody chromatic metal, though. Dang it! Okay. Right. I'm going to have to go dig up some copper then. Uh, fine, you live and learn. Right, it's all the way over there. 326 U's. I'll re be back when I've got my chromatic metal. Okay, right, well, I've got my area here. Train manipulator. Shrink my beam. Let's start manipulating the ground. Getting all our lovely copper. I'm going to run out, aren't I? So there we go. Let's uh, top that back up. Right, okay. Well, it was my own stupidity of deleting the base. I should have just left it as it was. At least I've got loads of ferrite dust now. But when I do build my base, I am going to craft myself some um, warp fuel as well, people. Anyway, I'll reconvene once I've got this. Okay, I'm back where I want to be building a base. And I notice there's some damaged technology here. 
These can be quite useful. Sometimes they might only give you nanites, but there you go. I can turn that into some ferrite dust. Sometimes they give you nanites. Sometimes they give you modules. I got nanites from this one. Nice! Yes, every freebie is a good freebie. Right, here we go. Uh, I just need a um, Micromatic Metal out of here. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. And we're going to rebuild the base now. Okay, Collio. Where's that base computer? There it is. Lovely. And I'll just build a base and I'll be right back with you. Okay, chums, well, I've built a tiny base. Yeah, so I used some of the glass up that it gave us. I put a few of these, um, you know, fingers in here. The other thing is, it hasn't given us a bloody ladder, so I can't get up there to put plants in or anything like that. But yeah, that's my little mini base. Right, so we need to put down one of these exosuit terminals. I'll stick that there. Check out. And you know what? Okay, I'm going to interact with that then. What have we got to do in here? Da 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 da. It's a suit. Right, have I just got to do anything in here? Is that right? I'm going to have that then. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Ironclad. Sweet. Okay, lovely. Okay, cool. I mean, I can put that there. I don't know whether I can actually install it yet. No, I've got to make one of them. No, I've got to get one of them to put that in. All right, fine. All right, fine. That's that then, anyway. Uh, what have we got then? What technology did it give us? Didn't give us anything for doing that, did it? All right, let's go into the actual menu and let's see what we get from doing that. Uh, okay. Why is it not? Inventory is full. All right, fine. Okay. Uh, nice. I don't think I can put a galactic trade terminal in or else I'd sell some of this stuff while I was here. Hmm. I can put in this, though. And hopefully teleport to the station. That'd be nice. I haven't flown to the station, so probably not. I might have to glitch this in. There we go. Yeah! Story of my life! All right, what can I get rid of in my, in my inventory, then? Uh, what can I afford to get rid of? We'll get rid of the runaway mould. And I can put a few bits into my starship. It's out of range at the moment. It's just there, though. I can bloody see it. All right, well, I'm going to go and screw all a load of stuff that I don't need into my actual starship for now. Don't need that. Don't need all this glass. Might as well put the launch thruster fuel in the ship, since I'm only going to use it when I'm at my ship. Might as well get rid of that. That I'm going to use to create fuel. I'll keep that in there as well. Oh, what have we got here? I can open that. Oh, what? I luck we had it. I just got one of these. Okay, I'll stick that next to that. Yeah, lovely. You know what? I probably don't really need that. To be fair, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have crafted it. Salvage data. Cool. I can swap that down up at the uh, space anomaly. All right. Well, I stick that in there. Get that turning into. Okay, we get the chromatic metal out of there. Turn that into ferrite dust. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've now got a load of free slots. All right, fine. I now can get back to doing this. So there is a lot of. You uh, inventory management isn't there, people. I can't remember how to get into my bloody build menu for some reason. There we go. Right. I'm going to go stick that inside of my base. I'm going to put it right there. Ah. Bit of a problem having it there. I might not be able to get up through the lift. And I, and I haven't actually been to the station here, so I think the only thing that's going to appear here is my other base. Oh, I can go straight to the space station from here, people. I don't know why I'd want to, thinking about it, but I could. I could go straight there. I could sell a load of stuff, but I haven't got a lot of stuff to sell. Apart from that donut or whatever it was. Oh, Ivy's bought me some din-dins. I'd have my din-dins. Oh, chums, I've just popped that badge. I haven't gone to eat my din-dins yet. So I just thought I'd pop that badge quickly before I do. Get to a reasonable stopping point. Put that there. Was it asking me to bloody craft? Launch for us to feel why, why? Okay. Now, what does it want me to craft? Antimatter. Okay. And I guess I'm going to have to craft the antimatter housing, I guess. I don't really know what it's trying to tell me to do. Alright, anyway, let's install this. Check out. What's the next thing? What's it trying to get me to do? Ah, I've got to reach a volcanic crater. So we'll be doing that when I get back, people. I'm just going to jump in my ship out of my ship, crater so. And I go into camera mode so I don't die. But I'm going to do that inside my base so I definitely don't die. Okay, right, there we are. 
I'll just go inside of here actually. I do. And I'll just go into camera mode. And I'll reconvene once I've had something to eat, people. Okay, chums, well I'm back. I've had my din-dins. Righto. So next off, we're going to a volcano, are we? Okay, cool. Well, we're doing that then. Reach the center of a caldera. This sounds like it might not be safe. Okay. Well, where are we going then? It's not popping up on my old freaking thing. There we go. There's one over there. Okay, I'll see you when I reach the volcano, people. Okay, that, that volcano just erupted. That's made me feel slightly more nervous. This is where I could die. Die and die badly. Okay, well, this volcano is a lot further away than I thought it bloody was. I'm going to summon in my beetle. Come on, my friend. Fly me up there. Yes. Yeah, you're nice and happy. I fed him. Come on. That could be your last meal, by the way. Where's that volcano gone? There it is. Ah, it's behind me. Freaking heck. Come on, beetle. I thought this would make my journey easier. It's just complicated it. An extra step, hasn't it? Okay, come on. Turn. That's it. You know you want to. Okay. I'll see you when I get to this point of death, people. Okay, here we go, people. This is where me and my little friend come to our demise. Fly like the wind. Go, go, go. Come on. You know you want to. Get me to the top of the volcano, my little beetly dude. Flap those little wings. Yes, fly like the wind. Okay. Got through there, okay. Early budge. Okay, I think we're getting close to the centre of the volcano, people. Yeah, right, we're nearly there. When you, come on, flap those little wings of yours. Go, go, go. All right, okay, I think he's reached his maximum heightage. I'm going to jump off the beetle. We're going to take it the rest of the way on foot, people. Here we go. Oh, no. Life support power low. Okay. Budging hack, get out of there. What was I thinking? Okay, we survived. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get, I get the idea. That was a stupid idea. Okay, right, there we go. Let's just uh, do my life support. I'm going to head back to base, people. Holy mackerel, that was, that was craziness. Why the heck would they give that as a badge? Yeah, here we are then. Claim that. Yeah, I could have done with that heat protection beforehand, you know what I'm saying? All right, okay. You know what, I'm going to turn that into nanites when we get to a space station. I, I don't really go for heat protection, because I'm hard. Right, there we go. Boom, we'll have that. Sweet! We've got holographic friend plans. That's broken to shite, by the way, the holographic friend. He just makes he makes Viking noises. In fact, we'll see if it's fixed. When I get back to my base, we'll see if it's fixed, people. We'll try putting it at my new base. I'll see you back there, people. Okay, people. Once you've got a bolt caster, if you fire a shot, so you need to reload... If you press the reload button, which is square, and R1 at the same time, just keep hammering it, you can run super freaking fast. It's called glitch running. In the patch notes, I thought that they would fixed this, but they haven't. That still works. That still works as a nice little tip there, people. Right, so I'm back at base. Let's see if that holographic friend still works. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick him under here. I think he'd look quite cool there. Now, before... Okay. There you go. He's in. He used to make Viking noises. He still makes Viking noises. Annoying. Hopefully they fix that, because that's a really cool part. But I'm not going to use it until they fix it. Sucks that, doesn't it? It's the little things, you know what I mean? It, it's not like a game crashing bug or anything. I uh, don't know why I'm uploading my base again, but I might as well. I'm going to stand in here, get my hazard protection back, and look at what we need to do next. Right, so we've popped all of those. We've got a little holographic friend that I never use. Phase three, then. We're heading there, then, people. Nice. I think we're about halfway done. Okay, well, we're near to our approximate location. And again, we're going to be looking for a colossal archive, which is like one of those large buildings... If I fly in nice and slow, hopefully we might see it render in. Not that my window is all that big. There it is. There you go. Plan came to fruition. Fly in slow, let your graphics processor catch up, and hopefully you're going to see the Colossal Archive. Nice. Now let's go around where there's the landing pads. Let's try not to clip it, and let's land. 
Cool! Right, well, I've got to run up all the ramps. I'll see you at the uh, main terminal. Oh, chums, look at the terrain on this one. It's got loads of these ringed-type shapes there. Yeah, man, if they do add in ship racing in the future, this might be a good planet to do that on. Right, anyway, and then again, there's lots of planets like this. Let's head on up. Let's go and interact with this console. I've got some Ribena on the back, people. Very nice. Okay. Chicka boom. Let's go into there then. Log in. Yes. Lovely. Done. Claimed third planet. Okay. Done. Oh, pulse spitter unit. That usually means you might have to end up doing some combat at some point. That 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 troubles me somewhat. Okay, all right. Well, we'll, um, we'll do this then. That's going to send me to another place to build a base, isn't it? And I learned from last time, people. Fly up through the atmosphere and then go back down again. Because it takes ages to fly there if you just fly in a straight line. Okay, coolio. I don't know whether I could use my jetpack to just ninja myself over there. Um, yeah, it's not far to walk. Anyway, I'll see you at the next destination. Okay, people, I parked near to the approximate location, and on my way to where I'm supposed to be going, there's a copper deposit halfway there. So I'm going to dig up a load of copper, because as you know, these uh, bases cost quite a lot to put down now. I'm probably going to need a load more ferrite dust thinking about it, so I'm going to zap as many rocks as I can on the way there as well, people. Because, you know, you just have to. Okay, chums, well, I've made it to the copper deposit. Just getting that out of the ground. There's some Ribena. Yeah, you can do this one-handed after a while, people. Fun times. Okay, chums, well, I got all that copper. Copper, lovely, lovely copper. Let's get that copper. Uh, where are you, copper? There it is, 600 odd copper. Slap that in there. Take that out of there. And get that on the bike. There we go, chromatic metal. Okay, right. Now where I've got to head to. I've still got 400 U's to go this way. Okay. Cool. Okay, now a little bit later on, I think I need to make some Pilgrim's Tonic or something. And I need to pick up a load of these things. Now, these sort of things on the planet, they're marked by, like, ears of corn sort of icons. I mean, this is a later badge anyway, so I'm going to have to revisit this. But that's the sort of thing that you're looking for. That sort of marker. But that one there, that was that's not what I'm after. Yeah, cool. Buried formations. I think I've got to dig something up as well later too. But anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on going this way. It looks like I've got to head towards what looks like almost that area there in between there. Okay. Well, looks like we're building our next base. Like this, then, I guess. All right. And are we supposed to be building a base? Is that is that the aim of this? Yes. Okay, I'm building a base here. All right, fine. Okay, well, let's stick that down, then. Have they given me more bloody fireworks? I think they have, people. They have. Well, let's set them up. It's night time. Check these ones out. There we go. That's for completing Rendezvous 2, I suppose. Lovely. Isn't that wonderful? All right, well, let's go into it. Let's click that then. Ooh, nice. Sweet. Okay, we're doing this one then. Build, build a new base. All right, cool, I can do that. Already have, in fact. There it is. Let's go claim it then. Little day. Claim base. I'll be right back with you after I've built something worth uploading. It's been doing this for ages. Look, look at all these parts I've just been given. Loads of them. It's went on for like 10 minutes. It's still going. What's that all about? Okay, right. Okay, fine. Ah, stop it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. I'll build a base. I'll build a base. All right, I'll be right back in a bit. Okay, build a base. Pop the badge. I should do. Okay, right, here we go. Let's claim that. Boom. Inventory is full. Of course it is. Dang it. Okay, well, I haven't sold that at the station yet. Let's get this installed then. Movement, lovely. What about this then? Stick that in my multi tool, might as well. Pulse spitter. I don't think I've got. Okay. Um, what else can I do from my inventory? 
personal cloaking device. Lovely. We've got some donuts. Lovely, lovely donuts. Can't put them on my ship. I could consume them, but I want to sell them for nanites when we finally go to the station. Well, not the station, but to the uh, anomaly. Okay, so we've got this guy here. Let's put that in then. Huh. Why can't I just do something with that? Alright, fine. Uh, let's put it in here. I guess. Let's have a look what we got to do. Sweet! Okay. Well, what's next then? Alright, let's put that down then. Interact with it. Exocraft technologies. Uh, do the next level on scanning. There you go. Done! I guess. I just want to claim that. Okay. Don't say we've got to do underwater freaking shenanigans. Yay! Go me. Okay, dig up a buried item. Alright. I'm fairly sure I went past a couple on the way here. Well, there's something. That, that, that's not what I'm after. I don't think that's what I'm after anyway. Alright. Too weak. This way. This way, okay. Alright, what does the other scanner show? Anything? Yeah, look, there's something right there. We go there. I'm going to dig that up and see if that works. Alright, lovely jubbly. Let's have some Ribenas. That's available in my merch store if you want a mug, if you want a glass like that. And it's lovely. You can even have iced tea in it, mate. Freaking yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, I haven't tried my own Captain Steve's brew as an iced tea. That could be that could be worth doing. Anyway, I could just shoot with that, and then glitch run. Oh no, it didn't work. Damn it! Oh, it doesn't work sometimes. That's a bit of a shite. Okay, we're here there anyway. All right, train manipulator. It was working momentarily ago. You saw it. Okay, cool. Let's go dig this up then. I'm trying to manipulate the ground, mate. There we go. Does that work? Does that count? Did that pop the badge? Budge? No, it didn't. All right. I guess we're going this way. It's still too, too weak to pick up the signal. I'll tell you when I get there, people. You know what? On the way there, I'm just if I see any more of these weird plant things, I'm just going to pick them. All right, so there's another one there. We'll have that. We'll just scroll that one away into my back pocket. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. And I think I saw another one just over this way. Where's it gone? Oh, look, there's two there. There's two there. We'll go get those quickly. I guess. Might as well. I don't know whether I need them. I, I half read the next milestone badge, so... Maybe I do, maybe I don't. All right, cool. Well, we're still locked on. Is it really? Dang it. It is. Right, we're going this way then. Right, I'll let you know when I see something interesting. Oh, here we go, people. It's found something. Some sort of buried foundation thing. Yeah, right, here we are. We've got my terrain manipulator. But that's the icon it was looking for. One of these. Buried mineral formations. Okay. There we are. Detectorist, one lost object. Done. Okay. Inventory is full, and I've got to do this. Gather local vegetable plants or something. Okay. All right. Um, let's extract that then. Oh, we've got another pulse spitter I can put in or something. I'm put that into there then. Um, what's that? I, I'm going to swap that for nanites as well, I think. What's this then? I don't think I can put that in anything right now. Okay. Got Gecknip. 
God. We've got loads of stuff that I don't really want to get rid of if I can help it. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Well, I've got this. I'm not too sure what I need to do with that. Let's just collect this then. Still says I can't at the moment. Okay. Um, I get rid of the bait sticks. And... I get rid of the save point. Alright. Okay. Happy now. Ah! Bloody clicked the wrong one, didn't I? Sweet. More fireworks. Just what I didn't want. Okay, cool. Let's stick these down then. Bloody fireworks. Okay. Might as well watch them, eh? As well, not let them go to waste. Wow! Oh, we got to harvest star bulb, people. So to harvest star bulb, I need to get that installed. You can only install tech back at your own freaking base, can't you? Ah, oh, god! All right, I've got some sodium nitrate. Not enough sodium nitrate, though. So even if I wanted to, it's Let's see. Can't do it outside of Utopia base. So I've got to head all the way back to my base. Which is like all the way, all the way, all the way. Is that my base? No, that's not my base. Where's my base? There's so many bloody bases now. Is that, that my base? I don't know which one's my poxy base. Okay. Is that my base? Oh, I think that's my base. Yeah, your base. There we go. All right, I saw Ishrash, and I thought, that's not my base. That's Ishrash's base. No! Right, well, well, on my way back to my base, I'm going to pick up all the sodium plants that I can find, all the ones I can muster into my pockets. Um, any more? For any more, let's do a scan. Anything yellow? Of course there isn't. Dang it! Okay. So I'm looking for more sodium. There's some all the way up there. That, that can get knotted. I'm going to try and pick up stuff near my base if I can, because I need more sodium... Let's get this, let's get the other sodium on its baking cycle. Thank you, I don't, I don't think I need any more sodium, come to think of it, though. Anyway, I'll see you back at my base. I'm going to install those hazmat gloves, and then the freaking star bramble I need is right back here again. So, joy of joys. Okay, people, just a fun fact. Look at this. If I go into camera mode, let's just put the sun round. Oh, it's already that side. Let's put it this side, then. But you see this sort of like flagpole with this weird sort of structure thing on it. I swear inside of that new game trailer of Hello Games, so there's, there's a gate that looks exactly like that and a structure that looks like that and flags that look like this. Little mini nods to No Man's Sky in their new game. Just, just as an observation. Okay, I'm back at base and um, I should be able to now install my hazmat gauntlets. Oh, here we go. Thank you! It's lovely! Now, I'm going to have to go and get myself some Star Bramble. And the Star Bramble is quite a distance. Let's see if there's any closer to me. You Star Bramble, you are. 600 U's. That'd do. Alright, I'll see you at the Star Bramble. Okay, well I've arrived at the Star Bramble. So this stuff you don't shoot, you pick it. So when you get close, you have to hold down square to pick it. There we go. Lovely. You know, other buttons are available on different platforms, obviously. You know, if you're on PC, you could have bound your keys to any button. So, you know, there is that. Okay, well, it looks like I can now put down one of these. But can I, though? No, I'm going to have to do it back at my base. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap to my bolt caster, fire off a shot, then I'm going to press reload and melee at the same time. Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't mean to get you. And if you hit jump at the same time, you can then catapult yourself through the air. I mean, look like how quickly. Oh, no. I'm going to break my legs. Oh, dear. That was a bit close. But, yeah. You see how quickly I got back to my base there. That was like 600 U's in a couple of seconds. So it does help to do the uh, melee sort of running mixed with a jump. Okay, right. Now I'm here, I should be able to glitch this in. So if I go to wire mode and press wire and place at the same time, there you go. 
done it without needing all the materials. Okay. Star Bramble. And what else? Impulse Beans. Okay. Okay, take that out for a second. That's going to make my bittersweet cocoa. Alright, do we really need 20 of them though? I don't know. Let's just make five for now. Five, that'll do. Okay. Now put the uh, the star bramble in. Okay. Let's make five of that as well. One, two, three, four, five. Once I got a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Right, okay. So we've got those. Now, pilgrim berries. Okay, pilgrim berries. They're in. Now I should make pilgrim's tonic. Well, why the fudge did I need to do the first step with the cocoa bloody things? I didn't, did I? Weirdness. Okay, here we go. Because I think all you need is a Pilgrim's Tonic, isn't it? Okay. Is there an extra step? Or is, am I done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Done. Brilliant. Okay. Now what? Inventory is full. Of course it is. Okay. Document life on planet. Okay, we just got to scan three plants. All right, I, I, I can do that. I can do that. Not a problem. There's loads of trees over this way. Let's go scan them. Yeah, sadly, my inventory is full, so I can't exactly claim that right now. God, yeah, okay, there's a plant. I can scan that one. Hazardous flora counts. So that that that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna scan that creature because I can. Not that I need to. Another one there. I'll scan him as well. There's some plants. I'll we'll scan that. Any others? For any others? I just saw it go to question marks for a split second, but it's probably a bloody rock. Is there two types of tree here? There we go. Are we done? That's three. That's three types of plant. I've done it. I knew I had. Cool. Alright, well, um, inventory is full. Inventory is full. And uh, I can claim that, though. There we go. Fearsome Visor customization. Heck yes! Okay. Well, you know what? I'm half tempted to call in my ship. Call in the Nexus and uh, swap a load of these bait goods for bloody... Uh, nanites with Kronos. I'll try and see if I can do that, people. Because at the moment, my inventory is quite s scarce. Or, I could just offload everything into my ship now, can I? That I, I, I think I can change into nanites. You can all be changed into nanites. So can you, so can you. Nanites, nanites everywhere. Might as well get rid of that, because I'm going to change that into nanites. And that into nanites. Okay. I might as well just put this on my base, mightn't I? Since I'm here. Let's go stick that in here and see what happens. So which one was it? For fudge's sake. It's the one with the solar panels on it, Steve. Alright, I'm going to stick that in there then. Let's go interact with it. Unlock something in there. Just in case it pops another badge. It probably won't, but there you are. Okay, well I might just be able to pop those now. Let's see if I can. Sweet! I'm going to stick that in my ship as well. And that in my ship. I'm going to install that in there. I've got more baked goods to put into my ship. Dang it. i run out of space in my ship. What is in my ship now? We've got lots of stuff in my ship. Okay, brilliant. Assortment of cakes. Just what you need, you know what I mean? Storage container plans, supreme upgrading system, nice. I mean, I could put storage containers here, couldn't I? You know, but, yeah, and stash stuff in those. 
what's next on the agenda anyway so that's phase three done we're on phase four next people we've got phase five left and that's it four and five okay we're going to the next outpost then people i'll see you when i get there now you know what chums look on the quick menu there is no nexus i can't swap those baked goods yet anyway i just taken up inventory space. I could always eat them, I suppose. Some of them give you health back and things. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm just going to fly in slow. And let's just hope that it renders in the Colossal Archive again. Not going to boost. Just going to let it fly in slowly. Okay. I haven't got the patience. So, flying a bit quicker. Did I see something render over here? No, I did not. I'm not seeing any comms balls to give away its location either. Budge. Aha! What's this? There's a trading post, though. Let's go land there. At least taking off won't use my launch thrusters. Nice. And look, there's, there's no NPCs here. It's a freaking weird system, this, isn't it? What the fudge? That's a giant worm! Look at him go! You leave my ship alone, mate! Yeah! We can have it. Okay, this is the actual rendezvous point. So this one is a trading post. Okay, cool. Bloody giant worms. Okay, cool. And we've arrived, located. Log in. Verifying settler credentials. Nice. Okay. Sweet Caroline, bow, bow, bow. Okay, I guess I've got to go into the other menu, Steve. Into the other menu. Hop that again. That's going to give us our next point. Right, I'll see you at that next point. I guess we're building another base, people. Yes, this is not repetitive in any way. Yeah, chums, as I got close, I hit the scanner and it brought up some sort of building location. So I'm just going to land here and hope that it's it. I mean, it probably isn't it. No, my luck. But at least I can get a free navigational data from that doohickey over there. Let's go to the doohickey. Let's just hope this is it. Is this it? On my days? It seems like that gi giant worm's on this planet as well, maybe. Yep, there we are. You can hear it. There it goes. Aha, and this is where I was supposed to be anyway. Let's get the free doohickey. Should get free navigational data. It should appear just about there in a second. Come on! Navigational data, dang it! There you go, you got it. Yeah. I'll raid this, get that for free. Nothing found! Okay, fine. We'll take that. And have whatever's in this box. I guess, convergence cube. Right, eh? Well, we've got ourselves some freebies. Everyone likes a freebie. Heck, freebie, yes! Okay, you don't want to mess with them eggs, Steve. Heck, no, you don't. Okay. Nice. Might as well. Actually, sod it. Alright, okay, right. We'll put down a base computer then. It's giving me more fireworks, people. Okay, here we go. Main base. I guess. Lovely, lovely. I wonder if there's a badge for getting some of these horrible evil eggs. I will check. I'll be right back, people. Okay. There's this one that says a purge a site of biological horrors. Okay. Why is it pointing me to a ship when there's obviously some right here? All right, sod it. We'll just carry on going in, in, the, in the way that we're supposed to and see what happens. Maybe I might get a few new... Uh, to be honest, I was feeling a bit... N a little bit nervous about doing that anyway. Okay, I've got no room in my exosuit anymore. All right, fine. I'll get that installed then. Paralyzed mortar. What else can I put in? This, we'll stick that there. Okay, anything else for anything else? Can't install that. Can't install that right now because I haven't got enough space. It hasn't really given me much for up there. Alright, 
Um, I'll put that in there. Take that out. And get that turned into ferrite dust. Okay. Um, we're a little bit scuppered. Alright. Let's go to this one then. Well, this is where I'm supposed to build the base. Let's do... I've, I've put down a base computer. I guess I've got to build my base out now, haven't I? Alright, well, let's do that then. And let's put a front door on. Put that there. Connect a wire to it. Lovely. Let's stick these inside. I'll just stick down a whole load of them. Using the wire glitch. And I'm going to delete them all. Okay. Go in. And we're going to stick these down. Okay. Done. That'll be my base then, I guess. Where's that base computer? Oh yeah, I put it in here, didn't I? Because I'm a strange one. Alright, there we go. Then. Let's upload that then. Upload base. Done. Might as well have that. It's free. No, oh, it's already empty. All right, fine. Okay, let's go claim that then. I'm not looking forward to taking on monstrosities. Oh, I've got to put this down in my base, have I? All right. I'll just stick it there. It's not it. And can I just select anything, can I? Uh, I'll go for Scatter Blaster. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fun times. Water Whale Seeker. Record an underwater creature over 50 kil kilograms. All right. Has this planet even got water? Let's go to discoveries. Let's just make sure it has got water. It has got water. Let's just go into camera mode and see if there's any water right by me, shall we? No point in getting in my ship if I don't need to. It looks like I might need to. I think the nearest water is all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way over there. And it doesn't even look all that deep. Dang it. Okay. All right, come on, ship. We're looking for water. Oh, okay. Yes. Purge site designated. Am I there already? Nineteen. Why can I just do this one? All right, fine. I guess we're going there then. All right, I'm on my way to the purge site. Hopefully there'll be water by the purge site. Oh, look, there's some water right there. It doesn't look deep enough for a giant underwater creature, though, does it? So, you know, let's just do the badge that's pointing me to. Uh, there's little mini puddles, but it's not quite an ocean. I'm not going to find a 50 kg creature there, am I? They're saying it's going to take me an hour to get there. All right, let's fly up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. And we fly back down again, people. Right, there we are. Up here, there's less sort of like a... Oh, look, there's loads of wood. Virtually a whole ocean there. Okay, let, let's just hope it lands me right by an ocean. Because I'm flying over swathes of ocean right now to get to this. Okay. Oh, it does look like there's some water here as well. Okay, that's not too bad. That might have a large creature in. But if not, it looks like there's a big ocean not too far from here anyway. Okay, well I'll see you at this purge site, people. Well, would you look at this? It looks exactly like the last site I was at. Let's make a save. Okay, purge the site of biological monstrosities. Perfect the bridge by disturbing their eggs. 
locate whispering eggs. What have I got to do? Have I got to collect their whispering eggs or have I got to kill the creatures? Because that's pretty important. Okay, it's not that one. For fudge's sake. This one. Okay. I just want to read the bloody mission. Okay. Um, it doesn't actually say, does it? Purge the actual site. Okay. Alright. Um... Okay, I don't want to do this. Okay. Mining beam. Let's try collecting that. See if that does anything. Let's go up here. Okay. Oh, I've got to kill five monstrosities. Now it now it's obvious what I've got to do. One. Two. Take that, you little git. Three. Four, one more. Five. Got him. Sweet. Okay, signal echo detected. Now what? I don't have to do another one, do I? Investigate the terminal. Alright, cool, yeah. Well, this is a bit new. I don't remember doing this last time, people. So sorry if I'm a bit rusty on that one. Okay. Yes! Store power. Access logs. Sweet. Alright. Yeah. Something about the space station there, wasn't there? Sweet. Lots and lots of stuff going there. Trace echo signals. Okay. Signal echo detected. Alright, well maybe I should have done the other... The other badge first. I've done. I've done that one. Why can't I collect the badge? Investigate a secondary echo signal. Oh, you're having a laugh, mate. Off planet. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna go and look for this underwater creature first. I don't know why it keeps opening on that other page now. But we've got all this water here, so I might as well dump, jump into the lake and have a look. See if I can find this 50 kilogram creature. Alright, fine. I'll see if I can find it, people. Okay, this isn't the deepest of oceans, to be honest, but it does say this planet has got the deepest ocean, so maybe I need to I need to fly back out to where all the ocean mass was and maybe find it there, because at the moment I'm not seeing any other red dots appearing. Oh, hold on, we've got a red dot there. I don't think that's over 50 kilograms. Alright, we might have to go out to sea. Oh, hold on. We've bloody done it. Well, what creature was that that was... <laughs> what the... Really? Oh, okay. That's 60 kilograms. It's not exactly big. That one was small. This one did it. That was the one that done it. Okay. I'm not going to grumble. Brilliant. Holy fudge. I'm swimming sideways. There's nothing I can do about it. That was a bit buggy. Okay. What's this one then? Gava cooking ingredients. Gava wild sweet root. Okay. Well, that, that that last festering sort of one that I accidentally did beforehand is trying to point me off planet. So I need to do as many as I can on this planet before I go anywhere. That's what happens if you go out of sync with some of these. Other expeditions, it does not matter. A fungal cluster. Okay, well, we're, we're, that's um, on top of some weird structure. What's that one? Pulpy roots. We'll head towards that one then. Right, I'll let you know when I've gathered some stuff. Right, well, we're here. Looks like a giant sandworm just jumped out or something. Well, we've got some pulpy roots. Yeah, mate. I hear ya. Jesus. Okay. Alright, now what? Okay, so... Harvest wild sweet root. Okay. Radio. I've got a laval core. I need to get fleshy roots as well. Okay. So let's head towards that. That'll probably give us some... 
I think that'll give us what we're after. But we need we need some other stuff anyway. Da 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 oh, there they are. Okay. Zap him and pick this up. Nice. Okay. Zap you. And get this. Let's get out of here, people. I don't... I, I think they can still see me when I'm cloaked. I think this only works against Sentinels. But we'll try anyway. Let's try and get away from here. Gather sweet root. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. These guys are still after me. Run like the wind. You know what? Let's use my... Um, glitch running technique I should leave miles behind if this foliage wasn't all in the way they're still after me there we go we got away from them okay right sweet root that's what we're after isn't it that's it I'm just gonna get that then because I think I've got a larval core and I think I've now got the worm spawn, so I think this is the last ingredients I need. There we go. Oh, great. We need how many larval cores? All right, well, my base, I think, is at one of those places, isn't it? Where I can get some larval cores from. Fun times. Well, we might as well zap these. Mining beam. Condensed carbon. Don't mind if I do. Hold on. I might need one more of those freaking worm spawns as well, though. That's the worry. Which one's my base? Off planet. That's my base, isn't it? But I want the one that's on planet. There we are. 19 hours? Oh, for fudge's sake. All right, let's just call in my ship, then. Let's fly back to my base. I'll see you there. Okay, right, I'm back at base. I've jumped out of my ship. That should create an auto save, but I'm just going to hit this up anyway. Just get another save. Right, so we need another two whispering eggs. Now, if these little gits bite me, it's pretty much game over, so. And they get in the way. Come on, because this thing disappears quickly. There we go. I, I got one. I got one. Woo, 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 woo. Now that you can go underneath. And you can get these using your terrain manipulator from underneath. But um, I'm just going to be brave and just try and nick one. Get in there. We've done it. We've done it. We've got them. Let's go inside the building. Ah, where did he come from? Okay, I'm in. All right. Hopefully they'll they're do one now. Oh, look at that. I do need three. I need three of the hungry tendrils. Dang it. Right, we'll wait till these guys subside. And then I'm going to have to go up and... Go up to another one of those bloody hungry tendrils and get another one of those Val spawns. It's a shame it didn't tell me how many I needed because I would have got all three earlier. Okay, so it said swarm subsiding. So there is one, thankfully, just up this hill. Now, as you're using your jetpack, you're going to see that your um, health goes down. Your actual life force goes down by three bars. So it's a pain having to climb hills. That's why I tend to use my beetle. It doesn't use your life support like this. Hence why I used him to get to the top of the volcano then jumped off and all that sort of shenanigans. There is a method to my madness people. I should have used my beetle then but I figured it wasn't a very big hill. And look how much life support that bloody used just doing that. Okay here we go. I'm hoping this rolls straight towards me. Ow! Okay. And I think I got the... Did I get the worm spawn? I hope I did. Fleshy rope. I think that was what I was after. Not 100% sure. Yep, there we go. Oh, I did get the vile worm spawn as well. Let's get in this building then. Ride them in. Okay. Right. Do I have to put it inside this thing? That's the question. Okay, here we go then. 
It's not giving me the bloody recipe. It just keeps coming up with this all the poxy time. All right, let's just get rid of that freaking map because it's doing my nutting. All right, go away. No. Oh, for fudge sake. Just, I just want the recipe. Let, just give me the recipe. There we are. Okay, here we go. Right, so prepare the processed sugar and CP syrup. Place in the sweet root. Okay, sweet root. Got pulpy root. That's not it, is it? Sweet root. That's what we want. Stick that in there. And we're going to make nine of them, people. I guess we are. I'm going to go for all nine. All right, I'll be back in a second when that's done. Okay, next off, we need to put in the um, the fleshy rope. Okay. Fleshy rope, fleshy rope. Okay, we're going to be making three in total then. Wow. Fun times. Okay. Okay. And now you need to put in the gelatinous membrane. Genitalous membrane. And the larval cores. Okay. And that should make the nightmare sausage. Of course it does. <laughs> nightmare sausage. Fundily fun. Make sure you don't do this wrong at home, people. Because these ingredients were a pain to get, as you just saw. Okay, right. Place in the nightmare sausage. Okay. Nightmare sausage. Plus the processed sugar. Pow! And that's going to make the soupy viscous or whatever it is. All right. Lovely. Done. Now what? Is that it? Yes. Phew! I thought I'd ballsed up for a second. Okay, right. Lovely. We got a new building part. Sweet. All right. We got that that I can sell for loads. Nice. Okay. Now I'm completely full up with stuff, aren't I? All right, let's just chuck that away. And I'm going to eat that. Okay. What's next then? Okay. Um, inventory is full. Right, I'm just going to eat all these poxy cakes, and uh, I'm going to let I'm going to let those off in a minute. Um, where's another cake I can eat? I think that's it. I'm gonna, we'll eat these then. Yum yum yum! It's not letting me eat them. Ugh, some things you can eat, some things you can't. Then I guess. All right, fine. Let's uh, let's 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 off these last remaining fireworks, people. There you go. Lovely, look at that. Alright, okay. Can I claim this now? No, it's not quite done, that one. So we need to do this one. 16 hex, hex cores, supreme mining beam, and other bits and bobs. Alright, fine. Let's, let's get those installed, though. But I think that's going to break my tech. I don't know. That's okay. Cool. Uh, where was the, la where's the next one? Pulse spitter module. Alright. Put that there. We've got another one of them. Yes, we do. That would have been handy to have had all that when we was doing this mission, wouldn't it? Gives me the stuff after I need it. Brilliant. Okay. And where's that? There it is. I'm going to stick that in there. Might as well move that down there. Adjacency bonuses and all that sort of shaz. Okay. Now we can do this one, which is off planet. Where's my shippity ship? There it is. Okay, ship. I hope you're ready. Oh, can I craft some more launch fuel? Let's craft five of them. Let's go. Ah, before we go, can I craft any more? Do I need any more of these? Hard to say, it doesn't tell me how many I've got on my inventory already, does it? I've got six, I'm okay. Let's go.
It looks like it's off planet. Let's lock onto it. Let's go. See you there, people. Hold on, people. I think this is pointing me to the space station. I can't be sure, but it's definitely not locked onto a planet. This is weird. Yeah, it's took me to the space station. Of course, it's an abandoned space station. Oh, this is the one where you restore a system to normal, isn't it? Oh, epic music time. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me. Go me. Brilliant. Yeah, this is your chance to have a little dance. A little party for one. Yeah, go you. You've earned it. I guess you have. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Oh. 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 Oh, me. There we go. Right, where are we going with this then? Up this ramp, I take it. Yes. Can I use my jetpack to get up there like Superman? I can. Meow. Galactic Trade Terminal! I can sell stuff at last. Okay. Buy that. And I can sell stuff now, can I? What do I want to sell? I'll sell the sugar. Sugar! Ba -ba -ba -dum, bam -bam. Probably going to need that later. I can sell the hex cores as well. I might need those, but who freaking knows these days? I'll sell that as well. Um, bar worm spawn. That sells for a lot, selling that as well. I better keep that. It's hard to know what you can keep and what you can't, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to sell all this stuff, this cookie stuff and things that I don't think I'm ever going to need. Jesus Christ, I've got a lot of glass there, haven't I? All right. Um, sell the rusted metal. Sell that, sell that. Okay, I think we're good. Sweet! Okay. Pop that badge. Nice. And we may as well claim this. Robo Warden Companion Egg. Cool, we can hatch that next time we're on a planet, I suppose. We're not going in there then. Oh, launch thruster module. Brilliant. That saved me on launch thruster fuel that I just freaking crafted. Alright. Get that installed. Lovely. That'll help a little. Got any more for any more? Well, I still haven't managed to get any more slots for up here, have I? And so at the moment, I can't do too much with that sort of stuff. I'm just going to eat all of them. Lovely. Okay. I think we're good. What's next, then? We're on to our final phase. Arrive at the fi final destination. Okay. Let's do that. And we're off, I guess. I'll see you there, people. Well, Nelly, and this one is looking like it's a colossal archive again. And this is my favourite type of colossal archive, the one with the giant ball on the top of it. Looks freaking ace, doesn't it? Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, well, we've landed, located. Jumping out. Cool. I'll so just jump straight over here. Run up said ramp. Oh look, I can um, I can hatch my egg. Where is it? Is it in my starship then? I'm supposed to have an egg. Oh, there it is. Hatch egg. New companion hatch. We've got a little robot. Cool. He's somewhere. Cool. Turn it over here then. Brilliant say. What's next then? This one. Hold on. Why is it not letting me claim? I need to claim that one first. For love and peace. That's a nice sentiment. Okay. We got it. Set that one then. Be excellent to each other. Bill and Ted, I guess. I'm smoking. Be excellent. Okay. There's a lot of messages here, people. All good ones. Okay. Pop that then. Just gave me a load of stuff I don't need or want. Brilliant. This expedition now fills you full of a load of cack. The hardest part about this expedition is inventory management, isn't it? 
Alright. Okay. Fine. I'm going to let all for these fireworks, I think, again. Here we go. Doing good, aren't we? Lovely. Okay, that's them. No mini celebrations. Right, let's go. I'm, I'm just letting them off because I'm running out of... Oh my god! Okay, I don't like real worldy stuff, people. Especially polling freaking dualities like that one. Well, you know, you either agree with it or you don't. You know, it's like Marmite. Yeah, let's head on down. And there's no right answer to that one, is it? And it's something I didn't want to think about while I'm playing a video game. I wish Hello Games would just add in a filter to let you turn off all comms balls and all base markers during expeditions. Because it you get stuff like that and it throws you out. It really does. It's a pain in the neck. So, so okay, so what I've been doing, when I've been approaching these, I've just been hitting my scanner like that. And then looking to see if there's a nearby building. Oh, look, there's one just there. There's another one just over that way a little bit. This one looks like it's just some freaking huts. I think this one's probably more likely a candidate. We go land by this one, just hope that I'm right. There's a good chance I'm not. It's probably the huts, isn't it? But we'll land here and we'll see. If not, it could just be a bit of a walk back again. You know, let's have a look. Is this it? Am I there? No, it's 500 used this way. It was the bloody hearts. Dang it. Okay, I'll see you there. Oh, would you look at that? There was another building by those huts. It just didn't render in when I was flying over. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, well, I've got like three navigational datas. I can get another navigational data for free here. Look, get my navigational data out of there. And then you can slap it into this. And it calls your ship over for free. Doesn't use your launch for us to fuel. There you go. That wasn't so bad. Alright, cool. So, I guess I'm building a base here, am I? Yes. The last location zone to build. Okay, well, we claim that. And I'll build another base. You've seen me build a few of these now, people. So, you know what? I'll just reconvene after I've built said base, peeps. So, here we go. Let's uh, claim base. Okay, well, I made a nice little base. It looks like a little igloo. Yeah, there it is. There you are. Another man's little base. Lovely! Okay. Done. That's another base done. Sweet! Oh my god. Got a load of units for that one. Okay. Cool. So let's go stick that in there then, I guess. Boom. Let's stick that one there. Because why not? Enter this one. Let's see what we can do there. Starship Technologies. And I'll unlock that because it's only one. Sweet. There we go. Done. Okay. I wonder if we can actually build that into my ship. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm, let's see if we can stick it in. Microprocessor 5. So I can put that in. But the microprocessors, yeah, I haven't quite got those yet. I bet you one of the last ones is to go to the next universe or something, isn't it? Antimatter, nice. Yes, I can make one of them as well. Because I've still got my storm crystal. I didn't get rid of it. Ha! Okay. I'll make that anyway. Okay. And I need to make... Microprocessors, carbon and nanotubes, and I need a shed ton of frickin's... Oh god, that's going to take me a while to craft all of that. Now I could go back up to the station and see if I can buy the bits I need to do this. The, mm, the microprocessors. Let's give that a go. Let's see if the microprocessors are buyable. Alright. Let's go do that. Uh, space station. I go back up to this space station. I can always just teleport back to this base, so it's not a it's not a hardship. Right. Well, I'm back up here. Let's see if I can buy them. I think it's on the opposite side of here, isn't it? I don't think the Galactic Trade Terminal's on this side. No, it's not. All right. Scary noise. 
Yeah, these, these places still creep me out. One day, if they put something in here that actually chases you or something, I, w I swear my lung would fall out my backside. Okay, here we go. Don't know about my... Maybe my heart might jump out of my mouth or something, but... Okay, we can buy microprocessors. Okay, I need five of them. Oh my days, they sell all sorts in here, people. This is pretty good. Wow. they got some nice little things in there. That's worth remembering. Okay. Righto. Um, Starship then. Let's get that fixed. Let's get that done. Freaking done, mate. Alright. What's next on the agenda? Discover creatures on the final world. Oh, bollocks. I've got to go back to my base then. And we'll go scan free creatures. That was worth doing anyway. Whoa, scary noises. Okay, people. Go back to my base and scan three creatures. So, my bases. My bases. Your bases. Is this one here? See you back down at the planet. Look at this. Look at this. There's just, I'm not cutting it. I'm not going to edit it. When I went to the station, it was like, boom. Instant. Oh, it's taken ages. A bit weird. It was like three seconds. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's still quite quick, though. All right, cool. It must be because it's in the same system or something. But, yeah, I was just surprised how quick it went. All right, now i just got to wait for creatures to render in. Come on. Where are you? In your own time, mate. Come on. There's no pigeons. There's no nothing. Where's the creatures gone? All right, well, I guess we've got to find three creatures on this planet, then. Yeah, we've got them selected. Just render in when when you're ready. Hello! It's daytime! There should be creatures everywhere! Fudge. Come on. Where are they? Down here? There's one. Got one. Oh, there's some pigeons. I didn't realise how high up I was. I'm higher than the pigeons! Okay. Any others? Is there any behind me now? Has any, any rendered in? I don't really want to go all the way down there because then I've got to go all the way back up again. I'm lazy. I guess we're going down there then, people. It seems that all the creatures are spawning below me. Dang it! I guess I could use my beetle to fly back up again. Come on. Please be something else that I can see from the top of this mountain. No. It's not going to happen, is it? And it's always the last one that's the tricky one, isn't it? Yeah. Aha! Got him! A little Scottish rod. Got him. Done! Prince in the snow! hoo -ya! Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's claim that badge then. Inventory's full. Of course it is. Of course it is, Steve. Of course it is. Um, Get rid of that. Um, I don't think I'm going to need repair kits. Hold on, where's my ship? Can I offload some of this stuff? I hate deleting stuff, you know? Let's put the repair kits in here then. Repair kits into my starship. Let's put that in my starship. And this. And that. Oh, we might be able to install that. We can. Let's just move that out of the way. Let's move that there. Brilliant. Adjacency bonus. We might as well charge that up. Freeze up a slot or two, doesn't it? Okay. And I'm going to eat that. Alright. There we go. That should be enough. Let me pop the badge. Aha. I'm going to put it up here. There we are. Did I just get given another movement module? I did, but it's for my ship. That can go in there. Where's this go? That goes in an exocraft. Thermal protection. Not bothered about that. Not bothered about that. Shields I am. Let's put that in there. Okay. Starship. Anything else? Haha. Is this life support? I think it is, isn't it? Maybe we could put that next to that. I think that might work. Who knows? Aha. It's that one that I needed, actually. Can I do this with the repair kit? I can't, but okay. Alright, fine. Right. C 
survey. I need to get this installed. And look, it needs a quantum computer and a magnetic resonator. I think both of these were available up in the station, weren't they? So it looks like I've got to teleport back up to the station again, people. Let's go do that then. Oh, at this time I won't cut it. I'll just go straight to... Look, you watch how quick this is. I won't edit it. It's like, boom. Look at that. How cool was that? I've got to run over to the other side. No, it won't be a second. Okay, right. So I think I needed... Was it... Okay, let's let's have a look at what I need. I don't want to spend money on stuff I don't need. Right, so I need magnetic resonators. I need three magnetic resonators. And I need just one quantum computer. Okay. Three magnetic resonators. One quantum computer. I think I bought two then. Because it didn't make the sound. That's now installed. Now I need to go back to my base. See you there. Okay, we've arrived located back at base. And uh, now I just need to scan. Was it gas? Is this one? This is gas. Oh, look, there's one close by. That's that. That's handy and dandy, isn't it? But if it isn't close by, all you do is you see like it's making this noise. When you move around, move slowly, it make a different noise. It go bink. I'll show you the noise. I've nearly done a full 360. On oh, my days. There. I would just head that way, where that weird noise is. Just keep going that way, and in the end it would give you a countdown. A bit like it's doing for me here. Okay? Cool. I'm just going to go this way. 900 odd use this way. Was it? No, only 100 odd. No, cool. That's just under 100 years this way. It's not far at all. Right. Lovely, lovely. I guess it's up this hill then. Yeah, it is. It's up this hill. Is it going to be on the side of this hill? Looks like it is. All right, fun times. You can't run while this is going. It's just such a slow process. When you get to about 16, sometimes it starts to lock on, though, and it gets very finicky the closer you get. So you've got to stay in this view, really. There you go. See what I mean? Here we go. Look, it's, it's really locking on now. There you go. Done. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Gave me more repair kits. Not that I need them. Strangely, because you so many bloody repair kits. Was it... Sup well, I don't get it. Why does it keep putting me in that menu for? All right. Playing some fantastical music. Walk beyond Beskin. Alright. Back to my ship. Let's go do that. Luckily, I've fully fueled my drive. Oh, now there's creatures spawning all over the mountain. Yeah. Freaking great when I don't need them there. God, this game trolls you sometimes, people. It really does. <laughs> but I love it. Wouldn't change it for the world. But there's things I would change about it, obviously. Ah, uh, you know, you've heard my rants before, people. Here we go then, let's take to the skies. I wish it wouldn't bloody... Yeah, there you go. Now it's giving me back my, my mission. Zoom. That'll do. Let's warp there. We're off! And that cut out the lovely majestic musics, though. I like the majestic musics. Dang! Oh well. That's what it told me to do, though. Walk beyond this planet. Are we near the end of this jaunt, people, in the view of us? I was just going to give you the best tips, and I thought, no, let's just do a full playthrough, but edit it. You know, keep it under 
uh, an hour if I can. I've got to edit all this together yet. Hopefully it comes to under an hour. I might just fly inside of the station. Yeah, let's do that. Now we've got some epic music. And it looks like we're done. Brilliant. Claim. Claim that. Sweet! Utopia, Expedition Decals, Banner, the whole freaking lot. That is not the whole lot though, people. There's one important step to do. After you've done all of these and you've claimed them all, you see this one here? And look, that's going to give me the Utopia Speeder. If I didn't hit that up, wouldn't have got it, mate. Cannot collect. Exit ship. All right, let's exit ship. Now can I do it? Let's see if we can do it now. Oh, look at this. Claim free ship. Heck yes. Expedition is over. We've only just gone and completed it, people, with this epic music in the background. Yeah, we did it. Accept. There you go. Done. Jump in the ship, out of the ship, save it. Do you want to see the um, Utopia speeder? I'll go show you it quickly. Let's fly it out then. Sweet. You should be able to call in the old Nexus now. There we go. I can swap ships in the Nexus. You can do it from the quick menu. You can't do it in stations. You can do it on planet surfaces. You can't do it in stations. It's weird since that's where the ship scrapping tool is. It'd be nice if they allowed you to swap ships and stations, but for whatever reason, you can't. Random. I know. Well, you need the feature. It's not there. Okay. Here we are. We've landed. And jumping out. Create an auto save. And now I can swap my ship on the fly. Do it from this menu here. There it is. That's a Utopia Speeder. Thing of beauty. I mean, look at the controls. It's lovely in here. And there we go. Utopia Speeder. And look at that. It's already got its freaking movement through the freaking nines. Look at that. Beautiful ship. Beautiful ship. Heck yes. Now, if you are in other saves and you want to claim all this stuff, all you do is go over to see this guy over here, Johnny Five, the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. No, it's a mouthful. I call him Johnny Five. And you go to Collect Expedition Rewards, and then you can collect all the expeditions that you've done to date. And you can see I've done every single blinking one. I've even done this one. I didn't need to do it. I thought I'd do it to give you guys in the Viewerverse tips and tricks on how to get all this stuff and how to get your own Utopia Speedia if you've never done it before. So that's the whole, whole, only reason I did it. You know. Anyway, I've got to go and edit all this now. It's going to be fun. Until next time, people, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe and the notification bell. I'll be doing these for every single one of these Reduxes, so if you're new to No Man's Sky, please hit us up. It means a lot. And then you'll be with me on the next one, and we'll do that together. Okay, and you can learn from all my mistakes. And let's face it, I made a few in this one, but they weren't too bad. Anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.